It's a small miracle, and the details you provided is just about all that is known. There was a woman, Rashma, who has been underneath the uh, collapsed building, which came down 17 days ago, has somehow survived, somehow made herself, made herself known that she was alive and has been rescued. Her name is Rashma, and she's been taken to the hospital. I mean, this, this has been after, as you 17 days after it collapsed. And many, uh, over a week has gone by since the only operations that have been going on the site is recovery of dead bodies. No one at all expected to find anyone alive. As you say, Yet somehow as, as you say, David, it's more than a week now since they said they believed there would be no more survivors, and they've really been clearing the rubble with heavy machinery. This was not an operation in any way that suggested there could be any hope that someone would be found alive. That's absolutely the case. I mean, they've been using heavy machinery, which obviously uh, creates huge amounts of risk to people if they are alive under the rubble. But what does happen in these kinds of building collapses, you know, the pancake collapse, is that there are vacuums, there are places, the walls, the floors below collapse as far as the machinery below it. So it does provide spaces for people to survive. And maybe she was lucky, maybe there was, she was in a space where there was some water or there was some food available to her for her to, to drink or eat. None of that is known at the moment, but one must imagine something like that has happened, that she was lucky enough to be found in a space where she was not crushed by the floors above her and there was some kind of nutrition available to her. Now, apparently, at the scene, there were uh, shouts of delight from the crowd uh, gathered round as the rescuers managed uh, to pull her out. Of course, the tragedy is that this has been an operation uh, destined to uh, aimed now at retrieving bodies. More than a thousand retrieved. No one had anticipated that the death toll would rise quite so high when this all happened. Yes, nobody really knew how many people in this building when it collapsed. The, the uh, factory owners didn't have details, and so it was unclear whether they would find a few hundred more or as it has emerged, you know, many hundreds more have died since they have started the recovery operation. So um, it's extraordinary that that is what it can be said.